Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride out of the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday Good morning, everyone. We finally have a sunny day. Can you guys believe that? Finally. It has been... Sorry, I'm starting to doing my hair because per regular programming, I'm running late. Um, and yes, I'm ironing my hair even though I absolutely hate doing this. But I wanted to straighten my hair and I don't have time. And it is clean, like I don't have to wash it. I'm going to get with this um, iron really quickly, just to just straighten it a little bit. Um, so yeah, we finally have sun. Um, we had miserable weather in the past um, three, four days. Like it was cloudy nonstop. We even had rain on Sunday, which was like so weird. But yeah, we had that and finally today is a beautiful sunny day so obviously I'm, I'm in a great mood i finally had a good night's sleep because the past like four or five days my sleep pattern was a disaster so i woke up more refreshed than i was for the past week or so and then obviously you guys know how much the sun helps my mood I woke up super early today and did a leg workout um, I haven't worked out in like two days and I honestly can say I missed it I literally missed working out and I never thought I would say this last night I was telling my system like I can't wait for it to be like tomorrow so I can work out I edited a little bit and now I'm finally getting ready for the day I decided to get ready for the day a little bit later um, normally I get ready like after my shower and stuff but today I worked a little bit and I'm getting ready a little bit later because I'm gonna go to my cousin's house to, this afternoon and my makeup and stuff will stay on because probably I'm gonna go there around like 6 or 7 um, but I don't like to get ready that late so that's why we're getting ready now together um, my aunt who has been visiting from Iran is going back since the flights opened up um, She's going back um, Tomorrow if I'm not mistaken or the day after so we're gonna just go see her and say bye to her My hair is not gonna get better than this and I don't want to keep adding heat to it So we're just gonna leave it as is. I'm adding my um, Gizu hair oil I just love the smell of this. So I don't know if you guys were telling me that um, Gizu has a um, hair perfume as well. I'm like, I, I know. But I really like the oil too. That's why I always purchase the oil. That's the plan for this afternoon. But in the morning, I want to get quickly get ready. And then um, show you guys the swimsuit that I was supposed to show you guys in my previous vlog. But I didn't get a chance. So I'm just going to quickly do my makeup. You guys have seen me do this 100 million times probably right now. I'm not going to wear foundation. I'm going to wear my Laura, um, Laura Mercier uh, tinted moisturizer. I'm going to, again, not use as much as foundation since for the past, like the entire weekend, I had heavy foundation on. So I'm going to quickly get ready and then... I will show you guys the swimsuits um, that I got from Shane. Um, I got actually one from ASOS and one from Amazon too, which I'll show you guys. So we're going to have a swimsuit haul basically. I'm not going to try them on for you guys uh, because I'm going to Palm Springs two times this year. 
I'm not sure if I told you guys or not, but I'm going to Palm Springs for my birthday, which is uh, two weeks from now. And then um, again, I'm going to go to Palm Springs in um, August. We have this family trip with all my cousins and stuff that we do um, every year. You guys will see the bathing suits on me in those trips. Um, but I will show you guys what I got and what I think of them. Let me get ready and I will speak to you guys when I'm doing the haul. I want to show you guys my makeup and an OOTD before I show you guys the items from Shane Sheen What do you guys pronounce it? I tried to do a brown eyeliner, but I majorly failed like with my shadow um, So I tried to blend it as much as possible. So but I feel like it's such a fresh and easy makeup look to do I absolutely love it. It's so quick just looks great in pictures and you look put together let me show you guys my outfit as well i'm gonna go into the detail of jewelry too because you guys always ask me um these flower garland and this one are aster de Mew. um this one is from nordstrom i'll link it for you guys and this one is um from amazon this one is a real gold i got it like a couple of years ago i think and it's no longer available uh, but the same things that I have on the other side I have here as well um, My necklace is from a brand called Lily Clasp um, This is their Reggie necklace and this is the shortest one. It's the 15 inch one I wish I got the longer one because this is really tight on my neck um, But yeah, um, this ring is from Amazon. Um, this one is my Nordstrom one and this one is um the the one from nordstrom i don't remember how you pronounce the name gorjana um i will link it for you guys this is cartier this is from iran and this is from iran as well um so my outfit this top is from zara um the shorts are from asos you guys have seen me wearing this non-stop they're just super comfortable and easy to wear so that is the OOTD. Now let's get into the uh, haul. Okay, now we're gonna start off with the bathing suits. Um, I'm gonna start off with Shane. Um, as I said, I'm not gonna try them on for you guys, but I will insert a picture of the model wearing them so you have an idea of how it's gonna look. Um, there is Between all of these, there is only one item that I probably will not gonna wear because purely just because I don't like the color. If not, there's nothing wrong with it. So I'm just gonna start out with this white one. This is one of my favorite ones. I mean, all of them are my favorite. They were all cute, but this is one of my favorites, obviously, because it is white. In case it's important to you, it is padded and it has wire as well. Um, the only issue that I have with this bathing suit is this, that these are a little bit too loose. So what I do, I just make, when I was trying them on, I just made a knot out of it. So it's like pull them a little bit higher. Um, it is very comfortable and it seems like a very good quality. Usually with white bathing suits, it's a hit and miss because um, just white is a very revealing color. So especially in a bathing suit, when they get wet, um, they reveal a lot of things if they're not a good quality. Um, I haven't worn this in the water, but it has linings, so I don't think it's going to be an issue. So yeah, this is the first one. It's very cute and um, just generally speaking, in case you're a kind of person who does not like a really high V in the bottom, um, none of these items that I'm showing to you guys, they have a high waist basically. The V is pretty low, like it's pretty normal. None of them are like too high. That was a really bad description of what I was trying to say, but I'm sure you, you, you know what I mean. Um, the next item is this very beautiful lilac -y purple one. It is super simple. Is this considered square neck? I don't know. It's like a straight neck and it has like these bands. These are removable, so in case you want to remove them, you can. It is padded, but it, it is not, um, it doesn't have a wire. It's just padded and it has a um, attached to it um, waist tie. You can put it in the front or in the back. I personally liked it in the back better than the front. It just looks a little bit cuter. And next we have the spiciest bathing suit between them all. It is this red one. 
with the belt the belt is heavy so it falls um in the picture i thought the belt was looking um the buckle was looking gold but it is silver but it's not a big deal so this one has wires and it is padded and it's a very sexy one if you ask me the color is fire obviously and the fit of this one is one of my favorite ones between all of them it just fits really good the only thing that it is i would say the cup is a little bit small compared to a 1x i have a smaller upper body compared to my lower body so it works for me but if your upper body is bigger than your lower body then you have to be careful so um, the cup is just a little bit small compared to being a 1x i don't know if i mentioned it or not but all of these items from shane are 1x um, to be honest with you, I could have sized down, uh, but I, I've never bought bathing suits from them. I just didn't want them to be too small, um, but 100% I could have sized down in them. Um, so yeah, all of them are in one X in case you were wondering. Um, the next one is this super basic, but very cute, like black one. You can never go wrong with a black bathing suit. It is this square neck one and it has like um, these bands on top. You can just tie them however you want. Probably I'll make a bow out of them. You guys know I'm very much into bows recently. Um, so it is a very comfortable and just that like generally speaking just a good one piece. Um, it is padded this one and it, but it doesn't have a wire in case you guys will care about that. Um, this black one compared to the other ones is running a little bit bigger just so you guys know. Um, the next bathing suit that I have is this orangey one and this is the one that I was telling you guys probably I won't wear um, The color was online was exactly the same, but when I wore it I just personally didn't like this color on me. It is a very cute style It has a tie waist as well. It's the tie waist is a theme in my bathing suit thing um, So it has like this really long um, Tie waist as well that you can wrap it around like two times. It will look very cute um, the style of it is very cute, but I personally was not a huge fan of the color on me. So that is that. And the last item from um, Shane is this peachy one. Um, I absolutely fell in love with the color, but the style is not my favorite. Um, so it is this peachy one. It has like crisscross in the front. It, it is one of the ones that has a sleeve. So it's like a bardot style. Um, I will still wear this obviously because it is a cute color and stuff uh, but for especially if you're gonna be under the sun which I don't recommend wear your SPF um, this sleeve section will create a line and the tiny line which I'm not a huge fan of I try to not wear this sleeve it just doesn't look good you know one of the bardot ones that go underneath your arms it just doesn't look good um, so yeah, but I will still wear this 100% maybe at night time swims, but um, yeah, the color is really pretty too. But these are all the items from Shane. Then I have one item from um, ASOS. It's this River Island one. It is this pink, black, and white with, it is like one shoulder. It has a belt as well. It's a buckle belt. Um, this is in a size, let's see. It says UK 16, I don't know what it is in US, let's see, US 12. So this fits like a glove, it is so, so, so pretty, like I absolutely love this. I can't wear, wait to wear this in Palm Spring, uh, because the hotel that we're going to has all these color schemes, so it will look absolutely beautiful. Um, the band is adjustable as well, in case you care about that. So this is, I got this off of Sela as well. I think it was originally 80 bucks and I got it for $30. So it was such a steal. If it's still available, I'll link it for you guys. And the last one is this one that I got from Amazon. I just tried it on yesterday. That's what it is open. So let me just close this tie. I mean, you can make a bow out of it, but just for the purpose of the video, I'll show it to you guys. This is a one shoulder one as well. Um, it is white and blue and in the back, like the front is the blue on top and white in the bottom and the back is the opposite. The white is in the top and the blue is in the bottom. It is such a good quality bathing suit. I don't know how you pronounce this, but this is the brand basically. Um, I will link it for you guys. I got this in a size large. It is such a beautiful bathing suit. Um, the only thing is that the, the V of this one compared to all my other ones is a little bit higher, but it's not to an extent that I can't wear it. So 
yeah it is i will still keep it and wear it and it was i think 30 or 35 dollar i know bathing suits can be pretty expensive like i've seen some that are like 120 dollar i'm like why obviously the chain is super affordable the asos one was, asos one was on sale and the amazon one was 30 or 35 dollar i will link it for you guys um i'm not a huge fan of spending a lot of money on bathing suit because mine only lasts a season for me basically we have a chlorine water pool so they get ruined really quickly um obviously the quality is not absolutely amazing like these are not gonna be bathing suits that you can wear years after years um, but i feel like for the price that you pay you can wear them a season and next year buy a new one because none of these were super expensive i think the total of all of these like six seven items was like 160 or 170 which i see one bathing suit retail for that much um i'm 100 percent sure the quality is different the design is different there is no doubt in that but with bathing suits i feel like since I, we have a chlorine water and they get no matter what they get ruined really quickly um i don't want to spend that much money on them these are the items that i want to show you guys um i have to edit a little bit of video so i'll get to the editing and probably i will speak to you guys in a little bit it is around like 4 30 i've been working the entire day today it's been such a busy work day and I just started feeling hungry. So the salad has been really like refreshing for me. I think it's because the weather was is getting hotter and I'm not in a mood to eat a heavy food. Like I haven't ate like pasta or like heavy food in a very long time. I go mostly towards um, salads and stuff. And, and when I'm really hungry and I don't have time to make a salad, this has been my go-to. So basically I do lettuce. Uh, parmesan cheese most of the times i add chicken but i don't have any cooked chicken right now and i don't have time to cook it and we're gonna go to my uncle's house for dinner so i don't want to be too full and then the croutons i already showed you guys how i make my own crouton but i didn't have any so i just used a like one of those ready ones um and normally again i make my own <laughs> dressing like scissor dressing um but today again i don't have time i want to eat this really quick and then finish up the work so i can get ready and go to my uncle's house um when i first got my surgery i was having a really hard time eating um lettuce because obviously um lettuce is full of water and i would get full really quick because my stomach is very little compared to normal people um i mean now i can eat more but like before i was really like i would get annoyed because i would eat lettuce then i couldn't like eat the actual food like the protein and obviously as much as lettuce is really good for you but you need protein next to it just the lettuce by itself it doesn't have that much nutrition so that's why i stopped eating lettuce for a very long time and it's been a month month and a half i really enjoy like having lettuce in my salad again um so yeah this is like something very quick and easy obviously but it tastes good fills me up I obviously have to add the croutons because i love a crunch in my salad and the cheese oh and then this was the reason i started vlogging i started rambling on i totally forgot what was i gonna talk to you guys about if your skin is sensitive to dairy just like me and you love a cheese just like me i cannot just i can't it's just it's not gonna happen so i know i'm suffering from the skin condition because i eat too much cheese but a huge tip if your skin is suffering because of dairy and you love cheese try to go for more of an aged um cheese like parmesan is an aged aged i can't talk parmesan is an aged cheese so it's not gonna affect your skin as much trust me try it Okay, I'm gonna continue working and finish up my work and eat my salad and then get ready to go to my uncle's house Which probably I won't take you guys later because That's not comfortable vlog vlogging around family But I just want to quickly tell you guys about the cheese situation and my quick and easy and zero talent required salad so Getting back to work Good morning everyone it is the next day i think i saw you guys last yesterday when i was going to my uncle's house we came back home pretty late um and then just straight went to bed and i have a giant 
pimple growing on my chin i don't know what's happening there there's two of it it's not one it's growing by the day one of them was almost going away but then the second one came up i think it's all the cheese that i've been having so yeah last night we came back home pretty late i slept and i woke up this morning super early again i think i woke up again at like 5 30 and i spent an hour reading it felt really 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 good and um i have a little phobia i'll tell you guys about it in a future video but i have a little phobia that is starting to bother me a lot recently and i'm trying to get over that so i've been reading like this book is not about that phobia but the chapter that i was reading i was reading the untethered soul um i finished it but I i'm going it through it again because it is a heavy book and with the heavy books i like to read them twice just to fully understand it and funny enough the chapter that i was reading today i think it's the chapter eight or nine if you have the book um it talks about the fear inside you and i have this fear that as i said i'll talk you guys about it more in details in a future video probably um but i'm trying to get over that and this chapter was all about how to get over a fear inside you so like i kept reading it i kept reading it i kept reading it and usually i spend like 15 to 20 minutes maximum 30 minutes on reading every morning but today i spent like an hour because i kept reading that chapter i read it i think three times um so yeah it's just every single time that you read you notice a sentence a word a phrase differently um so yeah that's what i've been doing and um i did my dry brushing i recently started dry brushing because i was reading online how to um, help with the firming of the body's skin and with cellulites and with loose skin and one of the major things that they recommend is dry brushing so i started dry brushing i used to dry brush like probably like two three years ago or maybe even before that but then i stopped for an unknown reason i was like i already exfoliate for my tanning why do i need to dry brush but the dry brushing effects are completely different than exfoliating um so that's why i started dry brushing again i'll talk more in details after my workout because i just got dressed up because i'm gonna work out my priority is my workout like first thing in the morning i like to get my workout done because i know the later in the day it gets probably i'm not gonna do it so I just wanted to turn on my camera, say good morning to you guys and then get to my workout and then we will chat about dry brushing and all the details. Even though I've been up for like two hours now already, but like I was in bed reading, so I didn't move. So I love moving my body in the mornings. I feel like I, it wakes me up. So let's go work out. I just finished up my workout my arms are aching like that's how much pressure I put on my arms I've looked up on Pinterest on a couple of new exercises for my arms and I did those and they were heavy on my hands but I'm so happy I did them I showered I put on a uh, makeup on um, I feel like I didn't blend my foundation well um, my tan is uh fading away and i don't want to tan because I'm, i want to have a fresh tan for the weekend um and i use my dark foundation and i didn't blend them well my vanity area is so dark that i honestly can't see anything i do my makeup and then i move away from that area and come to living room my makeup looks completely different i have to think of a better lighting for there i personally love a natural lighting for doing makeup i can just turn around and do it i have a um, a little desk behind the vanity i have to think of a better lighting for that area uh but what was i gonna tell you guys about oh we were gonna have a chat about dry brushing so the dry brush that i'm using is from aroma therapy associates london this is the dry brush that i'm using um and i try to do it completely dry as soon as i wake up um after i have my coffee and i read my book before my workout i do it because i don't want to sweat and then do it uh and i read that it's best to do it in the morning because dry brushing is energizing you don't want to do it too late at night because then you you will have 
a hard time falling asleep while i was doing my research on firming and tightening uh, products for my body i came across dry brushing um it was one of the most effective ways recommended it's been two weeks that i'm doing it um i do it every other day um, and I do it completely dry for two times and the one time that I do with oil is on a day that I'm gonna exfoliate my body for a fresh layer of tan. I think I mentioned this brand in a previous vlog as well. Um, this is a keratin body oil. So yeah, I use this. I use a generous amount. Um, the thing with dry brushing is it hurts. It really hurts when it's actually dry. I mean to me, I mean your body gets used to it. It's not like dying from pain like my legs and my thighs are pretty good my arms hurt a little bit more uh, when i add the oil obviously it glides on a little bit better but um i prefer to do it without the oil because the benefit is more i will insert a picture here for you guys that talks all about the benefits of dry brushing and how you you need to do it and all of that that's the um rundown of the dry brushing i have ordered two products for my body for the firming and the stretch marks i ordered the bio oil um i'm sure you guys heard about it it's everyone talks about it um, my friend christina talks about it and um, my other friend who's pregnant she talks about it she was talking about her uh belly not getting any stretch marks and all of that because she uses that and she uses another body cream the bomb bomb ones i ordered that as well from sephora both of those products were supposed to arrive last week but they didn't I I think they're gonna arrive either today or tomorrow um for now i'm using the um what brand is it is it clarence no it's the cuddly i'm using the cuddly body firming um body lotion uh let me show it to you guys this is the body lotion that i'm using right now i'm almost halfway done with it it is a very thick moisturizer um I absolutely love the hydration aspect of it like it really really works but I haven't seen a major firming um, effect of it um, yeah but it is extremely hydrating and if you have one of those like strawberry skins um, the ones that have lots of dots I have that and two things I've found out that helps a lot um, drinking tons of water helps a lot and this lotion helped a lot too I think it's because of the lack of hydration the only thing I don't like about it is the scent of it it is very much scented I don't know if this has a natural scent or not but it is very strong with losing more than 100 pounds i obviously have a lot of loose skin especially on my inner thighs my arms my belly and all of that and it's not only the beauty aspect of it but it is heavy on your body so now with the workouts and this firming product i'm trying to bring my body skin to the healthier state as well and uh, if you guys thought i'm obsessed with my face skin now the new um, thing is my body skin i take care of it like next level i moisturize every day just like my face uh, i now take care of my body too i mean i used to take care of my body before too but not as much as i do right now um i bought a new uh, body wash as well let me show that to you guys too because it smells absolutely amazing this is the body wash um, that i started using this is the ole ultra moisture shea butter body wash this smells absolutely heavenly like literally heavenly it's beautiful and it is very 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 hydrating a couple of days ago it was really hot and i sh like took a body shower and i didn't want to apply a moisturizer especially this that is so thick because it was so hot that i just didn't want to and i honestly didn't need to because the body wash was so hydrating it's been a week or so i'm using this it's very much new but i absolutely fell in love with it i don't know if there are body washers that help with the firming i have to do my research on that and see if i can find anything but for now i absolutely love this because it is really moisturizing those are the rundown of the products that i'm using right now and the products that will help me with the loose skin and the firming of my skin hopefully I will report it back to you guys i think this vlog is already pretty long so i'm gonna end this vlog and immediately start a new one thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye